Welcome back to In Your Face Horror, guys. We, not 10 minutes ago, just finished seeing the new Pet Cemetery movie, and I have so many thoughts on this. Be sure to continue watching this video to find out what we think about it, and make sure you subscribe. So click it and subscribe. Enjoy the video. So, Jamie. Yes, Alex. What was your favorite part of the movie? My favorite part of the movie? Um... <sighs> Instead of killing Gage like they do in the original, they chose to kill Ellie instead. And it opened up this whole different story arc that we never knew that we had. And it made people who have seen and read the book and know the story of Pet Cemetery. it gave some sort of edginess to it. I was on the edge of my seat because I didn't know what was going to happen. And that was probably the coolest thing I felt about the movie. True story. I would have to agree and say that my favorite part of the movie was also when they switched it up and killed Ellie instead of Gage. The reason that I liked it so much was Gage ended up running out into the road. This truck's coming down the road and anybody who's ever seen the old movie or read the book knew that Gage was gonna get hit And so they played it off like he was going to get hit mm -hmm. in the very last moment The dad came in and saved the day uh, But it was interesting to see the rest of the movie play out based on that small plot change. Yeah, it was really interesting There was so much more they were able to do with when a person comes back back in the original one There's not much character development. He's, he's just a mindless zombie that's just trying to kill people But here there was interaction and there was dialogue and it was unnerving to see how that played out with Lewis and when she came back and it just it, it opened up such an, an avenue for what's the word I'm looking for? An avenue for such fresh feeling to a film that's already been done. It's what it needed. This It needed something to revitalize it. You know remakes never they, usually go over well. They tend to try to overplay everything that's been happening in the previous makes of whatever they're trying to play out <laughs> and it kills the movie and I think that what you know, the very minor change that they did there was able to bring a whole aspect to the movie that they didn't have before and is able to bring it to a Pet Cemetery 2 that might rock a little bit more than the original Pet Cemetery 2. That was another interesting thing um, one of our friends brought up is in this version, Ellie kills her mom, brings her back. It's not Lewis that takes her up to the cemetery. They kill him, bring him back as well. And our friend mentioned that that is something that happened in the second Pet Cemetery after the original was remade. Was that characters were taking other characters that had died to the cemetery and revitalizing them into being an army of undead almost. Right. Right, and that was kind of a cool callback. People who have seen, you know, the first and second of the original um, are probably just mind blown right now about that. It was it was a cool way to kind of pay homage to its roots in an unconventional way. Yep, and all the way up until that point, I think that, you know, it followed along with the original storyline fairly well. And even beyond that point, when they changed up the storyline greatly by causing changing that one thing, it still was able to follow that original feel, that original creepiness that people felt when they came to the theater and watched this two-year-old destroying another, you know, an 87-year-old man. While they stayed true to the the atmosphere that King originally made when he wrote this book, I like that they didn't get stuck on being true to the novel. The events were the same, the feeling was the same, but it wasn't verbatim with certain dialogue. It wasn't a rehashing. They Everyone knows the story already, so they were able to take this freedom and really bring some shock and surprise to it, which made me so happy. It was a great movie. It was. I loved it. Mm -hmm. Another thing that I kind of appreciated about the movie is when that she ended up going over to Judd's house and in, in the original movie, I believe in the book too, she slit his uh, Achilles tendon from underneath while well, Gage did from underneath the bed. Mm -hmm. And there was a moment in the movie where Judd was walking up to the bed when and they, they, in they kept it. cutting back and forth like she, like we were getting ready for her to cut the Achilles tendon right there. And instead, Judd was like, I know you're in here and kicked the bed, but she wasn't under the bed. And as he walks down the stairs is when she got him. It was kind of a shocker because you weren't expecting it. I mean, you knew that that's probably what she was going to do, but since it didn't happen in the original location, it was able to bring that extra bit of shock to the movie that might not have otherwise been there. Right. It was a great gotcha moment, too, because you can tell the whole theater was, was bracing for it like it was going to happen, and it was kind of like, ah, oh, sorry, gotcha. just kidding. Also, we need to talk. Lewis, uh, what the hell is his name? This guy. Such a good job. His acting was, compared to the original, like, I've never been so happy to not see someone act like a <laughs> zombie. So happy with the performance. With that being said, I would like to make note that the original uh, actor who played the dad, he expressed way more emotion, in my opinion, as far as when his kid died. Yes, the dad in here made it kind of feel like he was, you know, a little upset that, that his child died, but in the original one, he seemed a lot more distraught something that I feel a little bit more real when your child has died. I mean, he was pretty much over it after a day. I'll agree with you on that. It did seem like they dialed back the, the shock and the 
the the pure grief that's supposed to be coming from him. On the other side of it, I like that they played more on the psychotic break because Lewis goes through a lot of turmoil in a really really short period of time. You can tell there's a, a, a switch with him that where that last piece of sanity goes. And I'll agree that I wish there had been a little bit more emotion, but it was interesting to see how it played on that real like that he's just gone insane. You should go see it if you haven't yet. Oh, definitely check it out though. It's definitely, even if you've seen and read the book and done all the things that you think you could do with Pet Cemetery, it's worth checking out for sure. 100%. Mm-hmm. Hope you guys liked that video. If you did, give us a big thumbs up. And if you really, really did, what, what, what should I do if they liked us, Jamie? You know, I think you should subscribe. I agree. I think they should also subscribe. I think that the only way that they're going to be able to continue seeing content like this is if they subscribe. That's the only way we can do what we do. And if you like horror content as much as we do, then gotta help us out a little bit, man. Gotta stick around. We do. Let's do it. Let's stick around together. Don't forget to leave a comment down below if you would like to see anything new from us. Uh, if you have any ideas of any other kind of videos you'd like to see. Until then, subscribe. And thank you guys for coming along on this ride with us. Bye! Bye. I'm on my booster seat, I'm good to go. I'm on booster seat. It's been so long, it's maybe we so should long. read a book and do a book review. Maybe we should do a book review, we'll just do another Pet cemetery. Subscribe um, if you want us to do a book review. Because the book just has this whole era of, you know, gloom and doom. Era of, you know, gloom and doom, gloom and doom. <laughs>